Hello, thank you for attending and welcome on this presentation. We're going to talk about Central Florida, specifically Ocala Metro Florida investment opportunities. Uh, this is Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. And without further ado, let me share with you as a real estate investor, where to buy investment properties, how to uh, scale your portfolio. The idea is to buy as many properties as possible over time. Some of you can buy uh, two or three at a time, right? If you have the motivation and you have the urgency, if you have the down payment available, that's the ideal uh, way to do it. And uh, the others, you may take longer. You need to come up with more down payments to buy each additional investment property. However you do, do it, you need to uh, scale your real estate portfolio. You need to buy more than one rental. You can buy as many as you, you can uh, using this turnkey system where the, uh, the local markets, the turnkey providers will help you do everything for you. I mean, does not matter. You can buy passively, you can buy remotely. It does not matter where you live in the country. You, as long as you find this right system, if you, if you uh, partner yourself with a, a, a great turnkey provider in various markets in, a, in the country, and uh, they have been proving, they have a great track record, they have a tremendous amount of integrity and, and uh, honesty and, they will, again, their turnkey system with the local property management, the local realtors, the partners that we have in place, and all the team members on the ground, we, they can help you uh, do this work very, very simply. So whether you buy one rental property out of state or 10 or 20, the, the total time you, uh, you, you can work on, on your portfolio, this time spent is only like, couple of hours per month, that's it. You do it remotely, passively, and uh, you, you just manage your portfolios through the, uh, the comfort of your, your computer, that's it. Although, of course, physically, you can you, you know, go to your properties and visit those people from time to time if you choose to do so, but that's not a necessary requirement, all right? Scale your properties. If you, if you want to achieve your retirement in the next five, 10, 15, 20 years, you need to create more cash flow. You need to create more passive income, more wealth, more equity growth. And over time, uh, you could uh, achieve your financial freedom goals. All right. So, without further ado, uh, you know, according to Zillow, what is the hottest US housing market uh, in 2022? Well, as you can see on this map, the areas, the region of the US. Uh, which is the hottest is in the south and southeast. That's uh, okay. And of course, you know, as you can see, the, the various uh, cities are among the top 10, but we can focus on Florida because we believe Florida uh, for, the, for, the, for the foreseeable future has been for many years consistently been growing very fast, job growth and population growth. And in the past few years, uh, we have seen even more acceleration of growth in Florida. But you have to know where to buy in Florida, right? You just can't, you know, you have to know the, the right neighborhood. You have to uh, uh, connect yourself to the, to the right team of people on the ground that will do everything for you, right? Property management, title companies, lenders, uh, and uh, the whole one-stop shop situation, all right? So without further ado, let's continue. And of course, lately, if you have not heard it, you know, because of the uh, dynamics of what's going on in, in, in the uh, real estate market, uh, the, uh, the rent has been skyrocketing. The rental increases have skyrocketing uh, in the past uh, 18 months. We have seen a lot of the rent, uh, these, this uh, escalation of uh, rental increases are in, uh, happen to be in Florida, right? South Florida have received, <laughs> achieved like, 55% rental increase, which is amazing. Orlando, which is the area, Central Florida, that we're gonna discuss in more details today. And have uh, the rent has increased by a whopping 35% in just one year, which is amazing. And Tampa, uh, Southwest Florida, and Cape Coral, St. Pete, 
and the clear water area also have achieved tremendous amount of rental increase this past year along a uh, whopping 32%. So uh, with that said, what does it mean? That means you as a real estate investor, if you buy properties in a good strategic location, uh, your, 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 your cash flow uh, can be higher. Your rent to value can be higher. So that's the whole idea, right? You can, uh, with the escalation of prices going on, uh, rising uh, historic uh, price uh, increases everywhere in the country, and especially in the uh, fast rising market in Florida, uh, it's important uh, for for the for the rent to catch uh, to uh, to uh, catch up with the rising appreciation. So therefore, you can achieve the cash flow that you want uh, when you create your real estate portfolio. All right. So uh, and then once again, this next slide pretty much tell you the rental rises in many areas of Florida. So, which is a very good sign, right? And uh, now we can talk about one area that uh, you should uh, look into to create your real estate portfolio. And this particular area is Ocala, which is Florida. This metro is like one hour north of Orlando. And we are seeing the past a path of growth over the past few years, especially. And, uh, and as Orlando Metro getting more expensive, people are migrating into the suburbs, into Northern part of the uh, Central Florida and Ocala and the surrounding 50 mile radius uh, is uh, we're seeing tremendous amount of growth. So we have a team in, in that local area that we have connected with for many, many years. So we just follow the path of, of our turnkey provider in that location. They, they have everything in place. We work with uh, builders. We work with local builders, only build these homes for our investors. These type of new construction homes are not available to the general public. So that's the beauty of connecting to a turnkey provider. You as an investor can, are able to buy these properties without going through the uh, uh, competing against other uh, people out there in the uh, multiple listing service. All right, so uh, this is a great value uh, proposition play. Uh, this property is, is, uh, uh, is only cost around $229,000 to $235,000, 1,323 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, and uh, very, very desirable. Again, this builder are able to provide this type of uh, product to us at a very discounted price because of the, uh, the scale of investors that are uh, buying through this builder that we have uh, connection with over the years. So 233,000 uh, and the, uh, the uh, projected rent is around 1750. So uh, clearly these numbers are very attractive. You know, not too many places in the country where you can buy a new construction single family home, 13,200 square foot for only 233,000. So uh, with a rent estimated 1750, this is a pre-construction unit. Uh, you pay the 20% down payment to reserve the lot and the builder will build it for you for the next uh, six to nine months, right? And then our property management team will, once you finish completion, the local team will help you with getting the tenant and manage your properties over time, uh, passively, uh, remotely over the years. And uh, if you put 25% down payment, even with an interest rate of 6%, uh, uh, you, you know, go, monthly goal is 1750, projected minus your taxes, insurance, property management fee, what have you. At the end of the month, you can have achieved a monthly positive cash flow of around $236,000. And all the numeric formulas looks very attractive given this, the rent to value ratio is 0.8%, a little bit less than 1% rent to value ratio, right? You know, 0.08% multiplied by, uh, by your purchase price equals 1750. So that tells you that you can cash flow with 20 to 25% down payment. All right, so it is a very attractive return, capitalization rate of 6.6%, cash on cash return of 4%, uh, total return on your investment based on 5% appreciation projection will give you a 
total return at the end of the first year what I was already at around 26%. But um, over time, you know, you, uh, your return can be very, very <laughs> attractive. And you factor in the other aspects of uh, go, goes into uh, uh, owning a rental property. And I will go over that momentarily. Another beauty of this property is because you buy through a, our direct builder, uh, uh, you get a, at a discount, really, a, a, a another new construction community uh, or another builder, which we have no connection with, uh, about one mile away, they're building a similar home, similar square footage. Uh, however, their prices is, is around you know, 284000 and so a little bit, in fact, their score footage is lower and they have one less bedroom. They are already charging 284. And you are, as an investor, you're getting at, at a price range of 229 to 235K. So really you're getting a, uh, a below market value of around what, uh, 50,000, something like that. So think about it, right? You buy for, you lock in the price at, at 229 to 235, for example. So uh, around $50,000 of walking equity, even before the house is finished in construction, when the house, if this appraised value uh, maintains itself, by the time the house is completed in six or nine months, when you open up escrow, uh, which are 25% down payment loan, uh, right away, your, your total down payment, as you can see, is uh, 60, around 60, $63,000, right? $63,000 divided by uh, $50,000 of uh, uh, below market value, comparatively speaking. So what is your return on your investment? Your, your down payment divided by, or divided into the, uh, the below market ec uh, equity growth that you're getting. So your, down, your, your total return on investment is around 100%. Your down payment is 63,000. The, uh, the below market appraisal uh, from a comparable property somewhere else close by is, uh, is, is at least 50,000. So right off the bat, even before the renter moves in, you already achieve almost 100% 100 of your, of your total, uh, total uh, ROI, right? So, and then once you get your renter in, that will pay you 1750, you're gonna achieve your annual uh, monthly net cash flow already around two hundred thirty thousand dollars, I mean two hundred thirty dollars per month, right? And then uh, on an annual cash flow, uh, you can achieve twenty eight hundred forty one dollars annual net cash flow, and then you got the principal pay, principal pay down, and then you have your five percent equity growth on top of that at the end of the first year, five percent multiplied by two hundred thirty three thousand in this case is another. Uh, another almost $12,000 of uh, first year projected appreciation. So total return is at the end of first year is 27%, but uh, very, very attractive investment. And then, and finally, uh, again, the, uh, by using the power of, uh, of your loan, you're getting a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, which is a uh, hedge against inflation, right? Because over the next 30 years, your the mortgage is not going to go any higher than whatever percentage uh, you are paying for. And then at the same time, so it's the power of 30 year mortgage, no other country in the world have this tremendous amount of leverage. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're buying an income property that are historically speaking, is a, is a multi-dimensional realistic asset class. That will give you many ways. You're making your money many different ways, right? Over time, your renter, right, they are paying you. In this case, seventeen fifty, right? They can pay this rent. Uh, this rent, you can use this rent to pay down your mortgage, right? So, if you charge your rent, if you increase your rent around five percent per year, which is uh, in line with inflation, although right now currently inflation is officially 8.5%, but uh, it could, it's probably higher. The real inflation right now is probably 10 to 15% or more, which is amazing, right? So you buy income property is a hedge against inflation. 
and your your and you're gonna increase your rent, historically speaking, on an annual basis for the for the foreseeable future at five percent rate increase. Potentially, therefore, you could, your cash flow is going to be higher uh, over time, right? So you're getting a positive cash flow already of almost two hundred fifty dollars monthly. So in the future, that monthly cash flow will increase even more, right? So your tenant is making you rich, by the way. Your tenant not only are paying your mortgage, your your tenant, your gross rent is paying your taxes, your insurance, your property management fee, and any other maintenance and vacancy factor is all included. At the end of the day, your 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 rent is going to exceed the total of your debt obligations, right? And the other ways, so passive income will increase, cash will increase over time, and your tenant going to pay down all your debt, including your mortgage, and then you are uh, you also going to receive some a lot of tax benefit. Depreciation is one of the tax benefit. Depreciation is a paper write-off, mm -hmm. you can depreciate your asset mm -hmm. uh, systematically over time for the next 27 and a half year, according to the IRS depreciation schedule. There are more tax benefits, which we're not, not going to discuss, uh, such as cost segregation, bonus depreciation. Uh, you may qualify for a list of professional uh, tax status. Many different tax strategies are afforded to you, depending on your unique situation. Of course, I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not giving you tax advice. Consult your financial advisor to go uh, to uh, go over your tax status. And of course, over time, uh, historically speaking, real estate has given most people around five to seven percent annual appreciation growth. So, uh, and uh, so over time, your your asset is going to grow. Uh, and then leverage, right? You're able to buy with a twenty to twenty-five by five percent down payment. It's all about OPM, other people's money. You're leveraging your assets. You're only putting 20, you're only risking 25% of the of the uh, of the value of the house, of the property you're buying. And you are, because you have good credit, assuming your lender are, are helping you to finance at least 75% of your asset. So it was amazing, right? So at the end of the day, uh, buying, Real estate is a, a, a very lucrative investment. Uh, history has proven like likewise. So given your motivation and your financial resource available, uh, you, you should buy multiple properties so you can achieve your financial freedom goal 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And that'll give you uh, uh, many ways to make your money. All right. So hopefully this helped by in, in summary, buy property, uh, uh, a new construction, in this part of the market in Central Florida, mm -hmm. which has been top five in real estate market growth uh, year over year for many years now. And more and more people are moving to Florida, the epic migration from out of state uh, people moving to Florida. And Central Florida is uh, one of the ideal places people are, are moving to. And this price of this new build are so cheap, you're not gonna find the kind of value on, uh, uh, because uh, as you know, uh, everywhere you see skyrocketing appreciation everywhere in the country to find a rental property that are easy to rent that the rent has been increasing uh, uh, escalating so much in the past couple of years it will give you more cash flow plus this property is so inexpensive such a good value here in Ocala, Florida north of uh, Orlando Metro all right so by at least one of these property there are many other markets that you can uh, you can uh, pursue as well so you can uh, purchase and acquire a portfolio of real properties in different markets and today uh, just we are discussing a mere one market where you can pull the trigger uh, and that's you know, invest for the long term uh, ignore all those uh, negative headlines that you've been hearing out there you know about the recession about crash whatever those are very misleading, inaccurate information. So don't buy into the uh, negativity out there. Focus on your goal. Focus on where you want to control and be systematic. Show, uh, be patient, commit to your goals, invest in a portfolio of business property, turnkey properties, and surround yourself with a great team and then invest for the long haul, all right? So with that in mind, 
uh, thank you for attending. Hopefully, this helped. Uh, if you want more information, of course, you know where to contact us below this video. You will see uh, all kinds of ways you can connect uh, to us. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, hopefully, everything uh, is good with you. Thank you so much. Good luck in your financial future. This is Xi Wing Yi from the Universe Network. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.